So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video I'm going to show you seven features in Power BI that are quite hidden that you would not know about unless you've read about them before. Okay, so we're going to start on the modeling pane. If we go here, this is the Northwind dataset that we always use. So if we go here to the order details and then let's pick a column, for example, the discount column. Scroll down and you will see something that it says here is nullable and then you can turn this on and off. Do you know what that does? Well, I read it actually on Chris Webb uh, blog uh, that he was actually wondering the same thing. What this thing does is that it, if you turn it off, if you say that discount nullable is off, it means that the column discount cannot have a um, nose on the values. And if you set that on and you get a null, you will get an error. So it will allow you to correct the nulls. So it is actually a very easy, uh, useful function that perhaps you didn't know about and now you do. So how about that? Okay, let's go for tip number dos. So the next tip is going to be custom formatting. This was released a while back, but it's so hidden that if you didn't read about it, you don't know that it exists. So if we pick a measure and then we go to format. You see here at the end custom, it does the same thing as in Excel. It allows you to create custom formatting in here. So you can go then and they have some like uh, the, the normal ones, for example, this for accounting. And then you can set a custom formatting for your numbers or your text or whatever you want to have. If you want to have your pound symbol or whatever it is, very, very useful, but very, very hidden. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to go to another modeling tip, and this is also from Chris Webb. And um, let, let me show you. It was not only from Chris Webb, it was from Deepak too. So, uh, I'm not sure what this is useful for, but I'm going to tell you anyway. We have two folders here. We have a folder that has two measures from previous years, and then one that has measures from year over year. And let's say that you have this rolling 12 months and you want this to show on both folders. I guess it's not a very common request, but I'll show you in case you need it. So what you do is if you want rolling 12 to appear here and there, you just go in here and you write previous years. Make sure you spell it correctly and time intelligence with a semicolon and you'll click outside so it will apply and then you will see that it appears on both folders. Who knew that? Did you? I didn't know until Chris and Deepak showed. Okay. Uh, oh, if you have any idea what that is useful for, feel free. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to Power Query. I have uh, some tips there. First of all, if we go, for example, for the calendar that has a lot of steps, you can see here that I have a lot of steps. If you want to modify an existing step, I normally click in here on the gear, but nowadays you can actually double click. I don't know how long this has been there, but come on. There you go. So, and it shows instead of going to the gear, you can obviously also right click edit settings, but mm -mm. now, Another one that was released, I think, this month, and it has existed before, but then it has stopped working. But now it's working again anyhow. So you can just drag and drop steps. Before you had to like right click, move up, right click, move down. You don't have to do that anymore. You can just move them around as you like, which is very, very useful, actually. Okay, so let's do two more tips on the visual pane. This one is about conditional formatting. If you know these, if you don't, it's very, very hidden. Here's the thing. You have, for example, here, we pick the line chart. We go to Format Pane. We want to conditional format the title so it gets green when the month, last month is green and red when the last month is green. Very simple. So you would go here to Title and you don't see here where can I conditional format unless you hover over it and you see these three dots. So if you click on the three dots, you can set the conditional formatting, okay? And this conditional formatting is absolutely everywhere. So just hover over things to see where it shows up. Hopefully they will fix it very soon. And another tip, and this comes also from you guys, 
Uh, let's say that I have a color on my canvas that is not on the theme and I would like to reuse it somewhere else. For example, this blue color. So what you can do is you can go here to the chart and then go to the data colors and then you just select it. And once you select it, it will show up down there. So let's say that we want to change this now to this blue. And let's ignore that it's in there. Let's say that it's not. You see that it's just here? And then you can just pick the new color without actually having to, you know, to check the code for the color and all that stuff. So those are my seven hidden tips. Let me know if you knew all of them or not. And if you have any ones, just drop them down below in the comment box. Now, 